Tomorrow, the Austin Police Department plans to release body camera video from the shooting of 27-year-old Alex Gonzalez Jr. He was killed back in January after police shot him on Wickersham Lane. That was in southeast Austin. KVU's Luis De Leon is live at APD headquarters for us tonight. Luis, you spoke to the attorney representing Gonzalez's parents. Yeah, that's right, Brian. APD lets some of Gonzalez's family members and attorneys watch that video today before it's released to the public tomorrow. Now, here's what police have actually told us about the case so far. On January 5th, police say Gonzalez was or Gonzalez cut off an off-duty police officer who was later identified as Officer Gabriel Gutierrez. Gutierrez was in his personal vehicle that night, and he claims he saw Gonzalez pull out a gun and shoot at him. Gutierrez called 911. That led to a chase, but after that stopped, more officers arrived on scene, giving commands to Gonzalez. And as Gonzalez moved around the car, police say he tried opening one of the doors, and that's when APD officer Luis Serrato shot him. Now, you can hear in a video taken by a neighbor what appears to be those commands and the shots right after. We do want to warn you, the video you're about to see may be hard to watch. All right, do not reach! Hey, Otto, Otto! Over here! Oh, Otto, Otto! No! Do not reach! Do not reach! Otto! And police say Gonzalez died at the scene. Family members said back in January that Gonzalez's girlfriend and baby were also in the car at the time. His girlfriend was wounded, but is okay, and the baby was not hurt. Now, I spoke to the attorney who represents Gonzalez's family tonight, Scott Hendler. He says he saw the body cam video, and he says it shows that Gonzalez did not have a gun in his hand when he got out of the car and that he appears disoriented. And just before the shooting, you can see Gonzalez walk towards the back of the car while police continue to shout commands. Hendler says Gonzalez was checking on his girlfriend who was lying on the ground and begins to open the rear passenger door and bends into the car to check on his child. And that's when APD officer Serrato opened fire. Hendler also says in the video he saw the top of a child seat in the rear passenger of the car. I think when the citizens of Austin see the video tomorrow, they're going to be very disturbed by what is uh, plainly depicted in the video. Alex Gonzalez was uh, shot down for, frankly, no good reason. Now, I want to stress that's the description of the video from the attorney. APD plans to release the video to the public tomorrow. Now, in January, police said they found a gun at the scene. Hendler says he doesn't believe there's evidence yet to support that. APD placed both officers on administrative leave. That's pretty typical after something like this. But today, attorneys who represent Officer Serrato sent an open letter to APD Interim Chief Joe Chacon objecting to the release of any of the footage before the investigation is done. In that letter that uh, they wrote in part, quote, there is an appropriate time for evidence to be released, but tomorrow is not that time. You are damaging the legal process, end quote. Guido, we do expect to see that video for ourselves tomorrow, so we will continue to bring you updates on this story on air and online. All right, our Luis De Leon live at APD headquarters tonight. Luis, thank you. Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza ran his campaign on a message of police accountability. That office's civil rights unit has been looking into dozens of cases that involve complaints against local peace officers. That unit is looking into whether the officers involved in the Gonzalez shooting will face charges. And attorneys with that unit expect to present this case to a grand jury no earlier than this winter.